In reinforced concrete sections, we're not just going to have concrete, but we'll have both concrete and steel. So we need to know how they behave together. So that brings us to this discussion on compatibility. So within compatibility, we, we will assume for this class that both uh, materials undergo the same deformations. So they'll have the same strain, so we can use this when finding our stresses and our forces in this section. Um, so our general procedure when we're finding um, the force in a reinforced concrete section under pure axial load will be as follows. Uh, what we'll first do is we'll assume a strain in the section. And this will be for both our concrete and our steel. Uh, next what we'll do is we'll use our uh, stress strain diagrams um, for each material uh, to find our stresses. So we'll use um, typically some function of uh, EC to find our uh, concrete stress and for steel we can just use a linear elastic relationship uh, up to yield. And then we can use uh, uh, the yield strength after that. So next we'll use our, st our area of concrete and our steel area uh, to find the force in each material. So we'll find our PC equal to our area of concrete times our stress in the concrete and our steel force equal to the area of our steel times the stress in our steel that we found above. And then finally, we can sum all of our force components, which in our case is just concrete and steel, to get our total um, force in the section.